Okay, in today's quick video, we're gonna do a how-to on backing up the OSI control. Here's the OSI logo right here. This is the OSI open model. And if you look inside your electrical cabinet, you should see the big black box. That is your OSI controller. So I get this question a lot, how do I back this up? Unfortunately, we oftentimes get the question when it's too late. Computers died, malfunctioned, um, motherboard got fried, and then it's difficult and time consuming to get all those settings back to where they were on a CNC machine, especially when you've got tool changer configurations, origin setups, all sorts of, of stuff that you want backed up. Um, now to do that, it's pretty simple. Usually you've got a skin like this that we're using here. If we minimize that, we're looking for this boot controller screen that you see here. And then if we go to mode, and we click on setup, and then restart by clicking on the rocket chip, then this should reset pretty quickly into setup mode. Now, once we're in setup mode, all we've got to do is click on CNC is in setup mode. We're going to click on this guy here, the security guy. Looks like a got a hat and some sunglasses on. We're going to click on him. And then from here, we can do our uh, backup. If you can see the backup button over here on the far right, I'm going to click on the backup button. That's going to bring up a window here. We can do a default format or a zip format. If you're going to be emailing this or sending this to somebody, you can use zip. Otherwise, default is fine. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my main screen here. I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call this October 2022 Backup. You can use the date, whatever you wanna do to specify that. And then we're gonna go back to our screen here. And then when it says browse, that's where I'm gonna put the backup. We're gonna go straight to the desktop. And now we should have a folder on there labeled backup or October 2022 backup. And we're going to do all the controller, so that'll do everything. We're not going to... You can, if you want, you can choose only certain aspects of it, but we're going to do the entire controller. And then just hit the start button when you're done. It's saving the primary system area, and you can see that progress bar in the bottom there is moving. Right now we're at 8%, 10%, and so on. It takes just a minute to get that done. For the sake of time on this video, we're not going to make you sit here and watch it, but it's just a minute or two. We'll come back when it's ready to finish up. Okay, as you can see here, we're almost done. Operation was completed. There was only one warning, and that was that the G600 was skipped. That's fine. No problems there. And... We should be able to close this out now. Close this. And close this. Okay, so that's all closed. And we open up here and we can see that these are the file types that got saved. And there is actually information there. If you hover over, it'll tell you the size of the file. We can go to properties tell you the different size of those files. So everything looks good. Now, if we ever needed to, we could use these files to restore to this previous backup from this date. And so again, that's gonna, re, uh, that's gonna save all of your important information, the drive setups, um, how these, all the different parameters, basically all the different things that, that make this machine function the way it does. And oftentimes many of those are unique to your setup. So with all that done, we're good. I would suggest putting this onto a Dropbox, an external folder, uh, thumb drive, or even emailing it to yourself or to the uh, equipment manufacturer for safekeeping. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.